Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going to talk about how we can better prepare for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. So first, we'll just quickly go through what is this exam? What's it about? So AWS Certificate, Certificate, let's see. Again, I showed this picture last time. Um, so here, this is the entire graph that all the different certificate exams that you can take with AWS. Uh, last time I talked about this one. This is the first exam that I took, which is the very foundational one, Cloud Practitioner. After that, I took this one. This is the one that we're going to talk about today, Certified Solutions Architect Associate Level. And the name of the certificate is called AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. The reason it's associated with is because there's another exam called Professional, which is a more advanced level. This one, Professional. That's the name of the certificate. Um, passing score, it's around 70%. Again, it's a distributed, a very scale score. I don't know exactly how AWS grades your exam, but around 70%, if you can get seven out of 10 questions correct, then you are about to pass. Exam duration is a little bit longer than the cloud practitioner exam. This time it's more than two hours, it's 130 minutes. Exam format is exactly the same as the previous certification exam which consists of two. One is multiple choice single response. So like say, for example, you are given, you're actually always given four choices and you have to pick one of them to be your chosen answer to a specific question. The other format is multiple choice, multiple responses. Again, you don't need to worry about which one question falls into which category because in each specific question it's going to ask, please pick one of the following four or please select two of the five please select three of the following so you don't need to be there is no ambiguity in the format of the question itself last the exam cost is 150 i think it's slightly more expensive than the previous one the previous one was uh, 100 dollars right so as you progress through the the career ladder through AWS certification exam, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because the just the certificate carries more weight. Um, last, the expiration, it's valid for three years. Again, it's for valid for three years, which is good enough because AWS just keeps evolving. It keeps publishing new services, new services, new infrastructure every single year. So it's always good to refresh your knowledge. Uh, now let's take a quick look, see how you can better prepare for this. Let's click into this. This is the AWS official site. Let's see. So there are some uh, exam. Let's see. First is the exam guide. Second is the sample question. These are good resources. So here, first exam preparation, AWS training. This is the one that I took. It's a three day full training and there are three or five labs inside this training. I don't recall exactly, but it's very good. The instructor is very experienced and the lab you get to practice to do some hands-on uh, labs to just uh, uh, deepen your understanding of following the instructor's uh, training. And another thing that I would like to mention, which is again, is this Waze Labs. This is a very cool, it's actually recommended by our um, instructor, which is, this is just a big time saver again. Uh, this is the one that I use to prepare for my uh, S SAA, which is Solutions Architect Associate exam. Um, see, it has, I took, it has a lot of tests. It has for the full test questions, a total of 65 questions. That's the real number of questions that you are going to encounter in the real exam. So they have a total of seven complete tests. And then for the selected version, this is for a different, for every single topic, it's grouped by topic. For example, this one is VPC, this one is S3. It has a slightly fewer number of questions, 35, 10, 10, to help you enhance, just hone your skills in that particular topic, AWS topic. And then there's a final test. All of these, I didn't have time to get through them, but what I did um, is, first I go through this, it's a free test. And after I purchased this one, I was able to have access to start, to, to have start. And so basically what I did is similar to the last one, I took this one and then I took, you see completed, I took five of these. So the first two, 
to be honest, I failed them. I got like 55% and next one is 59% or something. So I failed the first two. I was pretty frustrated, but I learned quite a lot. Um, so then the last three, I keep, I keep passing and my passing percentage is getting higher and higher. So I really appreciated this Waze Lab um, product again. It's really helpful. So let's just, let me just quickly show you guys how I use this. So this, oh, this one I passed because this is a simple one. There are only 20 questions. Let me just quickly show you guys how I was able to use this. Select two. This is very similar to the actual real exam that you are going to encounter in the real certification exam. It's going to ask, it's going to tell you which format of the question belongs to. So see, so let's see, just randomly pick two. Then let's proceed and let's proceed to the last question. We just hit submit. Of course, we're going to fail, but that's fine. I'm just going to show you guys how I was able to take full advantage of this WizLabs product to help me quickly prepare, make, make the max use of my limited time to prepare for this certification exam and pass it. So see here, I picked the wrong answers, but that's fine. If I don't have time to do my own research, see here, this is the part again, what I value the most is the explanation. So it details wh why, uh, which two are the correct answers and why they are correct. And for the incorrect ones, it, it even tells you why it's incorrect. So this is the part that I feel particularly value, um, valuable. Why it, I mistakenly took this one as the correct answer. So I must have misunderstood something, right? So this one, this explanation, tells me which part that I misunderstood. So it, it corrects my misassumption, right? Which is great and a time saver. And also it points you to the correct links. So after this, I just scheduled ex the exam at AWS.training. Then let me quickly sign in, sign in. Okay, let me quickly sign in. All right, here, I just sign in and then I click certification then go to my account, a new link popped up and then I see my previous exams. So this is the exam SAA certified solutions architect. This is the one that I took, um, this past, uh, this past, uh, Friday. Let me show you guys the digital badge, which is kind of cool. This is the one, a AWS certified solutions architect associate. Here you can pick whichever one that you are prepared that you are ready to schedule and go take it. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video is helpful to um, point to the correct direction for how people to help people how to better prepare for their upcoming AWS certif certification exams. If that's the case, just uh, do me a favor and hit the like button. Yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.